Good morning, my Scorpios. How are you guys doing today? I am so sorry I didn't get to do your reading, you and Aquarius, yesterday. I actually have had this migraine. Well, today is my fourth day having it, but it's a lot better today. So I, after two, I just... I was done I really was done okay guys let's see this is for Scorpio Sun moon rising Venus what do we have for my king of cups what do we have whoa and look how you popped out strength whole are you holding back someone holding back on you you're sticking on your path what is a Scorpio you're like Stacy I'm not here for sixty four thousand dollar questions sixty four thousand not dollar sixty four thousand questions wasn't that a game show isn't it? I don't even know. Okay, so this may have happened to you in the past, may be happening to you now, happening to you in the future. And if it happened to you in the past, don't discount that it can't happen again. That is what tarot is here. It's just a device. And even if it's not the same person coming back or same situation, it could be a similar situation, different energies. I also want to say a lot of times when I meditate, like I was just meditating on your energy, I always ask for messages for those who need to hear them. People who need to hear them are usually the minority. I am not your fast food tarot, where I'm going to hit 90% of the population. There are thousands of great tarot readers that can tell you, you know, that, that kind of falls into that genre. So if a title speaks to you, even if it's your sign or not, then it's probably your message. If the title doesn't speak to you, even if it's your sun sign, it's probably not your message. I do my best to really sum up the video in the title. There's no bait and switch going on. It is what it is. What you see is what you get. This is what you see, what you get, tarot. Not what you want to hear, tarot. Okay, now that I got my TED Talk out of the way for this Thursday morning, and it's two minutes in, let's get going, Scorpio. Let's get going. What is the general energy for my Scorpios? What is, I feel out of breath all of a sudden. What is the general energy for the Scorpios? What is it? What is the general energy for the Scorpios? What is the general energy? Still not feeling it yet, Scorpio, sorry. What is it, general energy? This is a good time to fast forward. What is the general energy of the Scorpios? I think that's it. Ooh, Six of Pentacles reverse Taurus energy. Well, it makes sense with that strength card now. So Corpio's like, I am not giving that MF any more of my attention. They don't deserve me. That's just what I got. Where they came from. Okay, so what's influencing the Six of Pentacles reversed? What's influencing it, Scorpio? What is going on? Yeah, Queen of Swords reversed. This is fed up. That's what I'm getting with that. And I love it in this deck because it's like she saw something. She, got, she was so scorpionic. She rised above the rest, got all super sleuth. And look at, she's got her telescope. What did you find out? What made you completely fed up? Pull, those are two cards of pulling yourself away. See, now when the Queen of Swords comes out, she is never going to be the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is charismatic. She's extroverted. She lives her life out loud. Queen of Swords is very fair, very honest, very clear in her words. But she's not a party animal. She isn't. She's probably in bed by 8 p.m. She isolates herself on a good day. When she's reversed, she's really isolating, pulling herself away. Six of Pentacles reverse. Somebody is really pulling themselves away. Either they're pulling themselves away from you, Scorpio, or you, them. I'm feeling like it's you, them. Okay, what is the reason for the reading? What is it, Scorpio? Ooh, what is that? Oh. <laughs> Two cards came out and there are polar opposites. Why do I feel like one is you and one is them? I feel like you offered <laughs> you offered the world to somebody who, who well they took it and then they gave they gave some crap back to you. You got caught in somebody's web, Scorpio. Oh my gosh, this reading's off the charts. Look at this Ace of Swords reverse in the Five of Pentacles. This is finding out. I I feel like this person is just kept you on either they kept you on hold so long there was like nothing left and it was in the, maybe this happened in the winter time you know with the snow being here but i feel like the, the the winter has come on this relationship and i feel like you were hiding yourself away for them you know with the flower you feel like you were caged in and boxed in ace of swords reverse is oh that's just i don't know that's just this feels really weak to me really weak anyway that's bottom of the deck this this is crazy those two go together. I don't think I've ever pulled two cards for that. 
position. Okay, what is in the past? <laughs> I do. Actually, I feel like you should go like this. And let me just say that this devil, which is Capricorn energy, on the top, I mean, look at guys, look at it. Doesn't she look like your community librarian? She looks like she would help you find a book. Under here, she'll help you get into her web. She's, she's, she's toxic. And maybe some of you, this is a female. And this may not be necessarily love. It could be a, a friendship gone bad, um, a work situation gone bad. You guys know how it resonates for you. But underneath, I mean, she's, I, she's a poisonous fungus, fungi, I should say. But she's not a fun guy. You get it? You get it? And she's a spider. And she, she spins a web of lies to get you hooked. So, and I feel like this is you. You had so much hope in this relationship when you entered it, even if it's friendship. And I feel like they portrayed themselves like, like her head, like, oh yeah, I got your back. I got your back underneath. They were just waiting for the time to, okay. What is the past, Scorpio? Oh my gosh, my headache is coming back. What is the past? What is the past? What is the past? Ace of Swords upright. This is, this. Remember when I, at the bottom of the deck, it was the Ace of Swords reversed and the Five of Pentacles? I feel like that's what ended up happening. Past is, this is what you thought was going to happen. You thought you had the key. The, the, maybe you thought this re, this relationship was the key to your happiness. This was everything. This is a new beginning and it's all within thought. Okay. This isn't an Ace of Wands. This isn't an Ace of Pentacles. This is Ace of Swords. So it has to do with your mental energy, but mentally you were really clear on what you wanted. It's ironic that next to it is a Queen of Swords reverse, which is very unclear. I feel like this person ha may have breadcrumbed you, may have put you on hold, may have, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to call you next week. And then where are they? This could even be somebody I got real strong. Maybe somebody owes you money. It could be somebody that you thought was honest and fair that owed you money. And with the six of pentacles reverse and then the devil, you know, you're not getting it back. For some of you, it's one of those. It could be family members and friends. It doesn't always have to be about love. Okay. What is on your mind, Scorpio? What is on your mind? What is on your mind? What is it? Yeah, this definitely could be like a business uh, partnership relationship in the in the workplace somehow, some way. What is on your mind? And the temperance reverse. Yeah, this is a lot of unbalance. Sagittarius energy. We have Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus. Well, Ace of Cups is a water sign, Capricorn, and an air sign. Because there's somebody in the comments last week that, or two weeks ago, I don't remember. Uh, they wanted me to point this out and i i do try guys but it does pull me out of my linear not linear but you know this this I, it's not even thinking i don't even know what you call it but as you see it pulled me out now i'm talking about it rather than doing the reading that's why sometimes i do it and sometimes i don't what's in the near future what is in the near future what is in the near future scorpio what is it Ooh, I feel like your card is about to come out. What is it? What is it? What is it, Scorpio? Ooh, seven of pentacles. Taurus next to Taurus. I, I feel like, I don't feel like, uh, see the seven of pentacles is looking at what you've invested in saying, you know, it's just appreciating how far you've come. It really is. It could be appreciating how far you come. It's also looking at the work you've done and kind of admiring what you've done. You're not at the finish line. You're no longer in the beginning. You're just on your way, but it's patting yourself on the back. It could, I really feel like this is, this is you on the precipice of doing something big or something. This feels very career to me. Um, but it's just kind of taking a breather, patting yourself on the back of how far you've come in life, how far you've come in this, this work life, whatever this is, maybe even a personal growth issue and just saying, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm glad I'm not where I've been. But this ace of swords feels like a beginning. And this feels like this isn't the destination. This is still the journey, but really appreciate where you've been. Seven of pentacles is just a lot of, um, in, um, reflective. It's a reflective card. How do you see yourselves right now? How do you see yourselves? How do you see yourselves? Ooh, what do we have here? 
What, oh, what, oh, what? The world reverse. Now, if I would have flipped it, it would have been the world upright, but because it flipped itself, it wanted to come out like that. World reversed. Not quite, well, and that kind of makes sense with the energy coming in, well, the near, not energy coming in, that's right here. Near future is just, it's reflective energy of, now what do I want to do? Maybe this is about you having to leave a job or a work workplace situation and you're just like, I don't know where I'm going to go, but it's going to be better than where I've been. And you're just glad to get away from this, this kind of devil energy that brought a lot of unbalance to your life. The Six of Pentacles reverse and Temperance reverse is a lot of unbalance. And the world reverse is, I don't feel like this is an unfinished business or not closing something out. I just feel like you haven't made that decision to of where you're gonna go yet. This just feels kind of like in the middle. Okay, what's the energy coming in to influence us? I mean, maybe some of you quit a job without having something lined up. Maybe some of you left a home without having something. Well, I guess some people do leave a home without having something lined up. What is, definitely could have been a relationship too. Anyway, what is the energy coming in to influence this? What is the energy coming in to influence us? The Empress reverse. Uh, yeah, whatever this was for you, okay? I can't sit there and say it's 1,000% a job because some people it is. Some people, this is a relationship. Like I said, you guys know when you listen how this resonates in your life. This, no matter how this resonates, this Empress reverse is a need to now it's, it's time to focus on yourself. That's what this card means. When it's reversed, it means you gave so much to somebody else or to something else, there was nothing back for you. Six of Pentacles reversed is here. Remember, we have, we have the beginning, really the beginning. Ace of Swords is a lot of hope, a lot of clarity. You know what you want, you're going after it. And I feel like you put in all this energy with the Six of Pentacles, right? But after some time, the Seven of Pentacles is like, Scorpio sitting here like, okay, when is this, when is this ever going to get back to me? Am I wasting my time? Am I wasting my time? Am I wasting the fruit? Like it's like you're trying to plant um, seeds that aren't going to grow because it's like rotten soil, right? And I think what you realize is crap. I think I was wasting my time. I think I've been played or I think I've been taken advantage of with the devil and the ace of cups. Ace of cups, we have two aces upright. I feel like your intentions were solid you gave it all you could if you are silently asking me well stacy i don't know maybe i could have done more no you couldn't have you were just dealing with somebody that can just keep taking endlessly right it would have just brought you more unbalanced with the temperance reverse on your mind you know you got to get away for your own sanity and for your own well-being but where are you going to go what you're going to do i think that's the question right here empress reverses whatever this whatever you're about to do take a breather and and take some time out for you get yourself back together focus on you get that energy back get those the pentacles maybe even it's getting your money back together because this that when she's upright this is about expansion birthing new ideas taking the world by storm this is taking the world by storm right we have two of these reverse this is you probably mentally I just feel like you just need a break. I just feel like you need a break to figure this out. Okay. And why, and look at that bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles now reversed in a Five of Swords. I feel like you were dealing with some type of situation that took so much out of you. It took everything out of you. And again, like, like the devil card where it's a woman in red that in her head, in her head, yeah, she looks like, she looks all honorable and shit. So does she. But she look, she's got a piece of that guy in her hand. You were either dealing with a female or something along these lines, but it just took your mojo away. And so I do feel like Stella needs to get her groove back here. That's what this is saying. Okay, what is in your emotions, Scorpio? What is in your emotions? What is in your emotions? Some of you could just be so overworked by something you're just not getting back. And you know that you... you it could have been, you could have been with this place seven months, seven years. Could be a relationship too, but it's just, you're just like, I don't, I'm just not seeing it. I'm not getting the results I need. What is in your emotions? What is in Scorpio's emotions? Yeah, the king of wands. I love that. And I pulled the female one, not the male. Some of you, for, especially for the female, like I said, this is Stella getting her groove back. This is definitely, especially for my female watchers. Um, this is just you remembering your own magic. Like she's, she still is magical. She still has her magic. 
This is remembering who you are before you gave everything you had to, to an energy that doesn't deserve it. Even if you're a male watching this, this is, it's still, and maybe even if you're a male or female watching this, this can even be your feminine side because everybody has masculine feminine energies. Our feminine energy in this reading took a big hit. That's the Ace of Cups is our feminine energy. This is the yin, right? The yin is, is receiving, yang is giving. I feel like the masculine gave and gave and gave and the feminine got nothing back. And so you started retreating with this Queen of Swords reverse. Started retreating, started thinking, Did, am I wasting my time? Are they ever going... If I hang in there a little longer, am I ever going to get my six drops of tea? It's not happening. It's not happening. And I think you know it, but you still might be waiting for a miracle or this is saying, okay, I'm leaving this behind, but I don't know where I'm quite going. You need a change in a small existence for a bigger one. You know it. You just not, might not be ready yet and that's okay. Okay. Anyway, but I love this King of Wands is so passionate. They just, they go after their dreams and I think Scorpio in your emotions in even though this is past i feel like this is still you you're very clear on a goal you know what you want to do with your life the in your emotions you're still passionate about going after whatever it was i just think this is just a need to heal or a need to figure out like okay this didn't work what do i what where do i need to put this energy where it's going to pay off the most what is the outcome what is the outcome what is the outcome for Scorpio? What is it? What is the outcome here? And the hangman. Yeah, a lot of reflective. That's okay. That's okay. It's just trying to get a perspective. It, and it's just, it's just a lot of reflective energy. Because here we go. Nine of Pentacles reverse is like, the, the it's the minor arcana card to the Empress reverse. But you took a hit. You definitely took a hit. Got some anxiety going on and need to get away. So, so maybe some of you, and that's funny, and I was about to say it, and here's these two cards. Some of you do need to get away, to get away like the fool, to get into this energy again, this exciting, this finding the seed of who you truly are. Because all of us, when you look back, and I, I'm thinking like the Six of Cups card, even if you look back in your life and remember, you remember like when you were a teenager and you thought anything in life is possible and it's just such a clean slate, um, and it doesn't even matter what kind of home you come from. You just know that you, you, you just have this full like energy. Like you could just, you're never going to, you're just not going to get hurt. You're going to go out there. That's, I think the energy you need to get in. And that's like the King of Wands. Eight of Swords reverse is coming out of your own head. It, it's just feeling free. It's finally getting out of that cage and flying. I feel like you're there. Some of you, I do feel like you might need to get away literally and travel. Look at that. When I shuffled your energy, had no idea what was about to come out. And we have the fool at the bottom of the deck. This is what you are craving. And oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. You know what, guys? I think what this is coming, even if the outcome is you still being reflective, this is coming. That we have the fool twice on the bottom of the deck. We have the Hierophant reverse. This is breaking away from the norm. I feel like you could be breaking away from a job, from a relationship, from the, the, what is expected of you because you are illuminated what has been holding you down and what has been keeping you back. And I feel like it's a slingshot right now. You are pulling yourself back. You're taking a moment before you release yourself. And when you release yourself, it's like this eight of wands, knight of swords, nine of wands, whoosh, fast energy forward. Very exciting crap going on here. Okay, what is the Six of Pentacles reverse and the Queen of Swords reverse for Scorpio? What is that? Six of Pentacles reverse and the Queen of Swords reverse for Scorpio. What is this? Six of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Swords reverse for my Scorpios. You guys, you know what? You guys are such a tough sign. You are the death card. You are the phoenix rising from the ashes. This is it. Whatever this is, Scorpio, even if this is for one person that's going to watch this in three months, it's just, it's not, it isn't going to hold you down for very long. You, you, the fire still will always burn within you. When I, you, and I have a feeling, well, I wish I would have came out. The king of wands, the male one, because he's literally on fire. And you know, and actually maybe it came out for this reason. I, I feel like this fire is still burning within you, but you're still trying to find that magic. In your emotion, you know there's magic in your bones, magic in your soul. You were meant for greatness, but you just got tied up into whatever, a, a life lesson. Let's put it a life lesson. 
Okay, what is the Six of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed? What is this? Six of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed for Scorpio. Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay, that's it. What is it? The Chariot reversed. Yeah. And I feel like this situation may... Uh, an Ace of Cups. I think for some of you, for some of you, somebody had you on hold. And maybe you were feeding their ego. You were making them feel good. And you're like, okay, I'm going to do the seven of pentacles now because I am really clear on they are who I want. I think you gave it your all. You had a lot of hope in this relationship. And the longer they had you on hold with the chariot reverse and the ace of cups, it's like they kept taking your cup, but they weren't giving anything back. The more, um, the more temperance reverse you became, more unbalanced emotionally, energetically, I real strongly energetically. And I feel like, you know what, Scorpio, I feel like this this is derailing you from your career path because if this is a relationship you've put so much time into thinking why is it why can't I get this off the ground that I mean there's a look at this out of four cards we have four or three major arcana right here we have a major arcana here a major arcana here on top of the aces and uh, it's just this is a really destined event to get to kick you in your butt so you can do what you really need to do Whatever this lesson was for you, you got to look at it as if this is a failed business, a failed relationship, a failed job, a failed friendship, it was a lesson. Don't try to attach anything more than that. If this, if you felt like this was a soulmate, it probably was a soulmate, even if it was a friend or a family member or a lover or a potential lover. Soulmates are here to teach us a lesson, to put us on our higher path. Sometimes that's all they're meant to do. And I, I don't say this enough, but I think the best piece of advice, if you guys go to YouTube, while well, you're on YouTube, if you're watching this, look up Medea, 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 that's how you say it, right? Look up, what is it called? Like uh, Medea, and if, even if you just type in tree, you know, like life is about a tree or friendships are about a tree. It's only like this three minute speech. I think it's from when she did a she or he. It's it's not a, a character. It's a she. But when Medea did this or um, Tyler Perry did this stage, it looks like it was on a stage. But it just talks about how some friendships you have to look at at friendships and relationships as a tree in your life. And some are leaves and some are only here to give a shade every nine months, which I thought that was funny. And some are branches. And you, you think they're solid until you step out on those branches and it breaks off and, and, and leaves you hanging and falling, right? Like full reverse. And some, but the people in your life that are roots, now those you want to keep because that's what gives you life and support. And we don't have a lot of roots in our life. That's what I feel like. You got to look at this, whatever this was for you. They were, you know, it's just a life lesson. It really was. I, and I really got off track, didn't I? It's, you know why? Because you're my first reading. Okay, get buckled in, guys. It's probably a long one. Okay, what is this Ace of Cups and Devil down here holding up the reading? What is this Ace of Cups and Devil? I mean, look at that. Talk about yin and yang here. One's receiving and one is not giving. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep keep that flowing towards me. Ugh. Okay, anyway. What is this Ace of Cups and Devil for Scorpio? I feel like I got a shuffle here. Okay, maybe not. What is this Ace of Cups and Devil for Scorpio? What is this Ace of Cups and Devil? Hermit. The Vir Hermit's a Virgo, by the way. This is your analyzing card. I think at some point, I think your instincts were screaming at you. This reminds me of a very high priestess reverse. Your instincts, probably the red flags were all over the situation. It's funny with all the red. Red flags were all over the situation. Your instincts were probably saying something's not right, but that Ace of Cups was too, this was, you know, the devil's toxic. The devil's attractive. The devil is, come with her, come over here. You know, it, it, it pulls you, it lures you. That's why it's, it's addictive. It's an addictive kind of energy to be, and that's how you can be entrapped into this person's web. If, if they had like one tooth and, you know, they were a meth addict and, you know, living on the street, that's not the devil. You'd be like, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on kicking my can past you. But with this, there's something that really lured you and pulled you in, right? But the hermit's like, something's not right. And I feel like you, you know, kind of kept at a certain point quiet to yourself analyzing this situation. You literally, he's like analyzing this. Okay, what is this Ace of Swords in the past for Scorpio? 
What is the Ace of Swords in the past? What is the Ace of Swords in the past? The Queen of Swords reverse. Again, she's right next to each other. That is being fed up. That is. Look, in the Queen of Swords, I don't feel like, I honestly don't feel like it's them. I think the more you were clear and maybe you try to make them understand, if this was a job, you, you would come in early, stay in late, do things for the your boss, do you help your coworkers, and you just weren't getting anything back in return. And as time went on, you realized, I think I might be wasting my time here. And you got more and more fed up. And the more fed up and the more imbalance you got, the more you just, that's all you could think about and you weren't giving back to yourself. And it just became this trifecta of unbalance going on. Okay, what is this, speaking of unbalance, what is temperance reverse on your mind? What is the temperance reverse on Scorpio's mind? What is it? What is the temperance reverse on Scorpio's mind? Death reverse. There you are, but you are reversed not letting this go but you know you need to let this go i uh, maybe some of you are holding out that this this really isn't who you think and you know it is you know maybe if you hold out longer they're finally going to give it to you i don't know if this is a job i think you're just like it could be like seven years you're like oh what if i leave and then you know it i would have gotten that position or i would have got that pay raise you just keep holding out like Okay, what is the Seven of Pentacles in the near future? What is the Seven of Pentacles in the near future coming in? I think this is, and that's a lot of waiting, right? Because it's reflective. Hangman is a lot of waiting and reflective. The world reverse is waiting and, and, and not moving forward. Even though you know you need to, this reminds me, the world and judgment are very similar. It's when you know something, but you're just not applying it. Seven of Pentacles in the near future for Scorpio. What is it? And the King of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, you're looking there and saying, oh, am I wasting my time with this cheapskate? That's a really a cheapskate card, especially if it's a boss. This is somebody who does not treat and pay their employees very fairly. If it's a relationship, it's somebody who's not giving you their coin. There, It's also somebody who's only focused King of Pentacles reverse. And there's a lot of Taurus going on. I just realized that. King of Pentacles reverse is also somebody who's only worried about their own money, material things. They're, it's just, a, it's selfish. It's not, they're not worried about taking care of others. They're only worried about taking care of themselves. What is the world reverse? How you see yourself? What is the world reverse? How Scorpio sees himself? What is this world reverse doing here? And the lovers. Yeah, I think this is what you're holding out for. And you know, ironically, that the lovers used to be called the choice and maybe what you're holding out for is for them to finally choose you. I hate saying that, I do, because that's a hard thing to hear. But it, it's just maybe you're waiting for this person to not really be who you know them to be. You know, instinctually, intellectually, I mean, the hermit, you've analyzed it, you, you know, but you still hold out that hope that they aren't gonna be that person. I think that's what you're holding out. Just it feels like a thread of hope. You're almost you're almost there though. Like I said, I feel like you're on the precipice of this big change, but you're just kind of reflective and holding out. But the longer you hold out, this the, the Empress Empress is an amazing card. She's she's all four queens into one. She's got a lot of beauty. She's got a lot to give people. She's a she's Mother Earth. She's the nurturer, right? When she's like this, she she needs to be nurtured. You need to be nurtured. You have been giving to something so much and not getting anything back. It's like a need to be nurtured, a need to be noticed, a need to be taken care of. I think somebody needs to take care of you for a change, Scorpio. What is this Empress reversed? That should be the reading title. I'm sure people won't like that, but that's true. It is, I feel like for, yeah, I feel like you've been taking care of so many people. It's time for, I mean, when is it your turn to be taken care of, right? When is the Empress reverse? Energy coming into influences. And Ten of Swords reverse, you're holding on to the pain though. If it's like this, it's good. That means you're done. Like I don't, there's not one more room to put a sword in me. This is like, I think I found room. You can put a love and sword in, but what if it's that ace of swords, right? What if this person's really going to be the ace of swords? I, it's like you're holding out beyond all hope. Somebody out there is, what is this king of wands in your emotions? 
And also in your emotions, it could be with this devil. Remember, I, I mean, they're both red. It could be you are highly attracted to this situation and job or person. It could even be your boss, you know, and some, some people could be having like a relationship with your boss. That's just an unhealthy situation. What is this king of wands in your emotions? And the, look at the emperor reverse. Emperor, right? In this deck, yeah. It's hard to cut. And it's funny. We have the Empress and the Emperor both reversed on top of one another. This isn't coming together. This isn't going to come together. It, it just isn't. But I feel a lot of hope here, a lot of waiting. I feel like this person has you waiting. Are they intentionally having you waiting? Or did they lead you on? I, I honestly, I can't even tell, but if it, it, it's, it's getting to this toxic, it's, it's not even getting, I feel like it's already at this toxic point. Okay. What is this King of Wands here? One more card there on Scorpio's emotions. I mean, come on guys, we're already past 30 minutes. Let's just, let's just keep clarifying. What is this King of Wands and Scorpio's emotions and the five of Pentacles? The longer you hold out waiting for this to come together, the more out in the cold you're going to feel that's feeling rejected. Temperance reverse, it's, I, I feel like somebody's just had you on hold for some time. Okay, what is this hangman and the outcome? This be a new love reading. I swear I never get those readings. What is this, what is this hangman and the outcome? What is the hangman and the outcome for Scorpio? What is the hangman and the outcome? the magician you know what i was just gonna say why don't i get these love readings maybe i'm the tarot reader that sets those up maybe I, maybe i'm the tarot reader that tries to pull you out of these relationships so it sets you up for new love you know maybe that's just you know everyone has a, a goal not a goal but a job in life and maybe in my tarot land that's my job is to try I know I get these. Why are you reading so negative? They're really not negative. They're not negative. It's, it's eye opening. It's trying to see a situation for what it is. So you can now get a situation you deserve and that deserves you. This is, I feel like this is putting your time into people who don't deserve you. You need to find the inner magic again, right? The magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. This is, th these two cards are magical, very magical. You have the power to have a fantastic life, but you got to stop giving to something that's just not for you. It's not for you. I feel like you're so much even bigger than the situation and you made yourself so small to even fit into it. And it, it's, yeah, I just feel like you, you have the power. If this is a job, you have a power to actually have your own company, not try to get a boss in a crappy company to like you. You have the job to really do some big shit, right? This is a relationship. You are an attractive, I hate it to say it like this, but I feel like you're probably more attractive to a lot of people than the person you're dealing with that's that's putting you on hold. You have the power and you know it to 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 do what you need to do. And maybe with this hangman mode is you reflecting on that and saying, yeah, I think I'm about ready because, you know, with the world reverse here. I feel like this is just on the precipice of change, right? The world reverses. She's starting to unzip to a new world. See how she's pulling down that zipper? Oh, that sounded really kinky and weird, didn't it? But she's pulling it down and it, it's, it's showing a whole new world. This, that to me is a, a bit of a death card. It is a bit of a death card. You, you, you're just, it's just like she's doing it very slowly, just in case this person decides that you're attracted to, to step up or a job that you're, that you have been holding out for decides to step up. That's not, she's not doing that very quick. She's just going very slowly to give that person like, are you sure? I'm almost gone. Are you sure? Three of cups, by the way, three of cups is there is happiness to come. There is new friendships. There is new things to celebrate. I feel like that's even new job and new love, but maybe this lesson was to say, okay, what was the lesson here? What did I need to learn about myself? Take that lesson, apply it now to the future. The mag you have the magician, the king of wands, the three of cups. And once you do this, the empress, the emperor, and the world will be upright. That is super powerful. That is really powerful. And I think whatever this is, I think people are going to be chasing you. You just have to get into your own power here. Okay, what is this hangman? He said pentacles reverse. And this is just a delay. A lot of times this just means a delay. This, this isn't like never happening. It's You need to see your own 
you need to see your own beauty. You need to see your own power. Just like, just like the magician, he's holding up. I always think it's a candle. It looks like a candle, but it's like a wand to the sky, and he's pointing to the earth. He needs the ground, grind. I always try to say grind and ground at the same time with him. He tries. He's grounding an idea into the earth to make it happen. Why he's working on this? You see his table. He's got the Ace of Cups. He's got the Ace of Pentacles. He's got the Ace of Swords. What are we missing? Oh, and it's all in the Ace of Wands, all aces, all brand new beginnings, but they're not being utilized quite yet because he's trying to take this idea and put it into the earth. It's about to happen. This is number one. Remember we had two fools. Fools are zero energy. It's about to happen. I feel like you're on the precipice of something really big. You just have to 1000% let this go and say, you know what? I'm better for it. You know, that's what you think them and say they're going to keep doing them and that's okay. But they turned me into a, a more powerful, a, a more even better version of myself. And you're got to let this go so you can get into this energy because this is some badass energy. And once you realize your own power, after you grind that into the earth and then it's like this, then it's go time, right? It's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Anyway. <sighs> Scorpio, sorry, it's 36 minutes. It was a long one, right? All right, guys, that is what I have for you this week. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week and weekend, and I'll see you next week. Take care.